Okay, so we are going to move on to general linear equations. And I want to show you something a little bit different with this equation. So when I'm doing this, what we want to do is move all of our variables to the left hand side. So I'm taking that negative 15x and I'm adding 15x. So that gets moved over, over here. Now, if you look at what I have here, these are all of the x's that I have on the left-hand side. So I add up all of those coefficients. So what I do is I take that as negative 5 plus 11 plus 15 and I combine all of those x's and I'm left with 21x. All right, now for the other side, my numbers, my 16 is getting moved over here and it's doing the opposite, so that's a positive 16. So on the right hand side of the equ equation, I have a positive 16 and then I subtract 35. You can also do that the other way, negative 35 plus 16. Either way, you'll get the same answer as a negative 19. Now, I let me rewrite this. I don't like the way that looks. So that's 21x is equal to negative 19. And then I divide both sides by uh, 21. So my final answer here is that x is equal to negative 19 over 21. Let's go ahead and put that in. And I will go ahead and solve the next one in a more traditional manner. So x for this question is, since the answer was negative, it's going to be negative, then my fraction, which is 19 over 21, and then I submit my question. Now notice what the directions say here, do not convert the answer to a decimal. If you type this in as a decimal you would, and hit the submit button, you would have gotten, gotten the question incorrect. All right, let's go ahead and do the next question and I will go ahead and do this next question in the traditional manner. You can choose which one you would like. All right, so let me just write this down real quick. All right, so with this question, what you have here is you have two numbers, that negative six plus one. So you can do what is called combine like terms. And negative six plus one gives us a negative five. So I rewrite everything as negative three x minus five is equal to negative six x plus 12. And now I'll go ahead and continue on. Um, it doesn't matter whether you want to combine these on the left hand side or right hand side. Um, I'm always going to try to put my variables on the left hand side unless there's a reason not to. So I'm going to go ahead and add 6x to both sides. Again, I'm adding 6x here. That leaves me with negative 3 plus 6x or 3x minus 5 is equal to 12. I now add 5 to both sides and I am left with 3x is equal to 12 plus 5 is 17 and then divide both sides by 3 so my final answer will be x is equal to 17 over 3. So there's two different ways that you can go ahead and do these multiple step equations. You can choose either way.